KBAT Action 7 News. Right now, more than 900 creators of Native American art are setting up for this weekend's Indian market. Reporter Julian Paras is live in downtown Santa Fe, where this generates a lot of money for businesses. That's right, guys. So artists from across New Mexico and also from across the country are ready to show off their best works of art. But in addition, organizers say this is going to benefit New Mexico on a massive scale, especially when it comes to the economy. We're able to create economic impact on tribal nations across the U.S. Yeah. An impact they say could generate around $160 million just this weekend. That comes from people booking hotels, dining out at local restaurants, but also checking out the artwork on display. Organizers say the show is not only an opportunity for artists to show their skills, but it is vital to their livelihoods. Many of the artists that participate in Swaya gains anywhere from 75 to 100 percent of their annual income from this show. George Alexander is a local artist participating in this year's Indian market. It's an extremely great opportunity. The people that come in and out of this market just to come check out the work from all over the world. So, you know, it, it definitely helps try to get your artwork out there. Set up for this year's Indian market is underway. Come Saturday, this entire plaza will be filled with vendors and artists from everywhere. It's an event Alexander says is a sight to see for everyone planning to show up. If you can't find something here, you ain't gonna find it anywhere else. So yeah, I would definitely encourage anybody, if you ain't never been to the India market, you should at least come once. And if you do plan on coming, it is recommended that you bring cash. There's also ATMs that you can use in the area. Coming up at 6, we spoke with George Alexander a little bit more about the impact the Indian market has had on his life. Reporting live in Santa Fe, Julian Paras, KYT, Action 7 News.